Another day on Vertigo. Let's, uh, uh, wait a second. What the hell? What's going on, everybody? My name's RangeBlaze, and welcome back to another CST video. Um, today's video will be going over the new update that just dropped called Fire Sale. So we'll not spend too much time here. Uh, we'll go over the big things and then we'll talk about it. So um, they gave some love to the CT's economy, which is really needed with the new MR12 system. They did price cuts to the M4A4 and the incendiary grenade and gave a bit less cash to terrorists when the bomb gets diffused. Um, in addition to the price cut, the Ensign has gotten a bit of a makeover with a new visual treatment for its explosion and flames and reduced spread and duration. This is the old Molly, the new Molly. The old Molly like to kind of sit up higher. The new Molly stays more low to the ground with the flames and obviously lasts a little bit less time and spreads less. The other big thing is they added this ability to rent the entire kilowatt collection for $2.50. You get it for seven days that replaces the default skins in your inventory with all of the skins from the kilowatt collection. So it's not just renting an inheritance. You get the Chrome Cannon, the Jawbreaker, the Olympus, Black Lotus, everything. Um, you only get it for seven days. After that seven days is up, you can either open another one for $2.50 and rent them again, or all of your skins will revert back to the defaults. Um, and other changes, just some basic stuff. They made chicken smaller demo playback features. Oh, and, uh, Vertigo's A site has gotten a makeover. So let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, I'm sure you guys could notice from the intro that this is now open. So you now have a <laughs> elevators to construction peak here. And that's a little weird. They also closed off this connector here between Lightroom and the elevators. So if you guys are wanting to go to Lightroom, you're going to have to do it off spawn. But that's not the only thing they changed. They added this catwalk here that goes all the way from Lightroom down to sandbags. So with the A-Site rework, they've also made this site the wingman map of... Uh, the A site is now the site for Wingman. Let me rephrase that. So, Ensigns now cost 500, M4A4 3000. So, we'll go ahead and pick one of those up, as well as a smoke that I'd like to show you guys here. So, I know a lot of people are going to complain uh, because, you know, we're Counter Strike players and that's what we do is we complain about things. But I think the changes are pretty good and they are pretty balanced. Um, if they would have kept that um, connector between light and elevators, I would say this is an extremely CT-sided uh, CT site. I would, I would completely say that this is terrible because already now, instead of dealing with one angle when you come up from here and only having to peek to the headshot here, you now have to worry about all of this space. And then once you clear this, you can't clear that until you've cleared this which is going to leave your back completely open to somebody sitting right here. So if you've got one player here, one player sitting back here, kind of at a far angle, they can swing that and get the info. And this player here can get the trade. So again, it can be CT sided. It could be T sided as well. If people are going to probably find a very quick way to smoke this off. And once they do, once that's smoked, now you can come back up probably won't even have to worry about that angle off the bat get them and then push into sight the other one that i'd like to talk to you guys about here is if you throw this smoke right here now you can lurk into the side area here down onto the ramp itself or you can even come all the way back here and lurk this jump up that's right here so this can be a very very powerful spot for cts as well I think that's all the changes to the A site. So I'm going to go ahead and spend the rest of this time here talking about a giveaway that I'm doing. So if you guys have never had a knife in Counter-Strike, I know this is not the creme de la creme knife, but I am giving away this Ursus Safari Mesh and Factory new. The giveaway will happen on the 15th of next month. So right now it's May. So June 15th is when this knife will be given away. I'm going to give it away on the Discord, which is linked down in the description below. The only requirements to... Um, when this knife is to be subscribed to my channel now we're at 605 subs right now i would love to hit a thousand before the end of the year that would be amazing 
and if we well obviously i'd like to be a little higher than a thousand at the end of the year but if we do hit a thousand by the end of the year i'll still be extremely excited about it because um this has been my passion project and uh you know i'd love to do more giveaways for you guys but sadly i don't have a whole lot of extra money lying around you know the economy's kind of rough right now so um if i do get sponsorships stuff like that just letting you guys know that a lot of that money is going to be pumped back into my videos and then back into the community that supports me so giveaways stuff like that um things of that nature so if you guys want to get in on that giveaway um go ahead and subscribe to me like this video and then uh you guys can get you know the more you guys watch my content like my videos stuff like that that's going to be taken into effect once it comes time to actually um do the drawing so uh that's going to be done on discord and uh, so go ahead and join that up as you can see all of my friends are hopping on right now so we're going to play some vertigo tonight um and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace